As Black History Month continues, we're introducing you to a black owned business and an artist with a mission to nurture the next generation of young artists right here in the city. Our Ross Dimite joins us live now from 1040 Creative in Northern Liberties. Ross, good morning to you. Hey guys, good morning. So we know that Philadelphia has an outstanding art scene and I would say that Northern Liberties is one of those arts epicenters where you can just fully indulge in the art scene. Look at this beautiful gallery we got behind us and we have one of the best in the city joining us this morning, Pauline Houston McCall. Uh, thank you so much for being with us so early. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, uh, it's early. I know not all of this is your work, but this beautiful masterpiece behind you is. You. Yeah. So for anyone who's not familiar with your work, can you just kind of describe uh, your themes and um, what motivates you? So what lately has been motivating me, I travel across the city teaching our youth. I go to inner cities, I go to preschools, and so I have been noticing our boys, our young black boys, who don't know that they're beautiful, who don't aren't being told that they are great. So I'm working on a series called King Boy, and um, turning them into maybe deities, turning them into great, bringing greatness to them. So this is painting here, of uh, expressionistic painting, I would call it, is about uh, the ultimate king boy. I like to give them halos. I like to give them wings. I like to make them angelic because I feel like society does not. I want to do what society does not do for our beautiful black and brown boys. So that's why that's what the piece is about for this Black History Month, you know. Yeah. What an incredible message. And King Boy is obviously just a beautiful masterpiece. Take a walk with me here. And yeah. we have a couple of kids joining us this morning. You were talking about how it's so important for you to travel all over the city and spread knowledge to the youth and empower them. How do you do that here in Northern Liberties? So, you know, I teach so many children across the city that when we open the, the center, boom, you know, I could just call up friends and say, bring your kids here. And um, some of these kids like Paxton and Nikki here, I've had since they were babies, literally since they were babies. So, you know, that's one of the many hats that I have to, you know, we have to wear here at, at the gallery. So, yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, just finally, really quickly, it's Black History Month. Yeah. I know that's a huge theme for a lot of your art. How are you passing on those themes to the youth uh, during your classes? So during my classes, they are always surrounded by uh, this fabulous collection called, uh, uh, it's fine art, uh, black masters, of fine arts, and um, there is an acronym, and I'm, it's slipping my mind right now. It's okay, it's but this collection inspires them. They walk through the doors, and the first thing they do is look on the walls, and they want to see what collection is up. There are times when they sit in front of the piece um, that we have exhibited here and they get their inspiration from that. So, and they're painting this morning. They're fabulous. They, they're learning, the, the youth, they're learning really what I wanted to be taught as a young person, you know. It's beautiful. Art. Yeah, you need that inspiration around you. Absolutely. And clearly it's working. They're uh, working on some masterpieces of their own. Thank you so much, Pauline, for being with us. And guys, we're just getting started. Black History Month coverage all morning long, especially here in Northern Liberty. So much to feature, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So I'll send it back to you in the studio.